you off with a slow jam on this one? Okay, all right, what's good? Enemy Gamer 11 here, and today I play Super Seducer for the P... They almost said PS3, but for the second time on this YouTube channel, for the PC, the first time was when I played Babysitter Bloodbath, that was a few years ago. This game right here, Super Seducer, was requested to me by Silver Beast. You wanted me to play this game right here. Um, I don't... I can probably see why. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but there's a few reasons why I'm playing this game. I want to... I'm testing out the capabilities of my gaming PC so I can finally see what it's capable of. Because I will admit this, I got Resident Evil 2 on this, and I got mods, but I want to fulfill a request first before I start getting into the fun stuff. But hey, let's have fun with this gameplay right here. Something new, something different. Let's start mixing it up a bit, you know? If everything goes right here, I'll probably bring some more PC games, more horror PC games even, because all the good horror games are on PC. So let's get to playing. Okay, I will admit this, I've already uh, started on, like, yeah, right here at Grand Street, only to a fraction, only to make sure that there was no, you know, slowdowns. I had to make sure of that. I don't want to give you guys crap. Everything worked good. So let's see what we go from here. Okay, you're walking and a girl catches your eye. Like, most of the time, can you stop her? Get her to talk to you. Make her want to see you again. Get some coochie coo action. <laughs> Hope need lessons. <laughs> let's see what this game has for me. Look at this guy right here. <laughs> Who the hell will walk the street dressed like that unless they got like a, I don't know, something formal to go to, like an office job. She running around in a scarf and looks like 90 degree weather. It looks nice out. She shouldn't, she shouldn't need no scarf. Okay, it's giving me options. This is where I stopped to make sure that the game was working perfectly on the PC. Okay, so I can approach her directly, pretend to be blind. Wolf whistle, approach slightly in front and to the side, walking next to her. Yo, what's up, girl? Walking with her. <laughs> yeah, this one I gotta see. Yo, what up, girl? Can I just talk to you for a second? Where are you headed? I'm busy. Yeah, come back here. <laughs> Not right. You want to stop her and talk to her when she's stationary. You don't want to walk with her. It's kind of weird. And then you can never tell if she wants to talk to you or not. So either stop her and talk to her. If she keeps walking, let her go. This guy right here, who do you think he is? God gives the women? <laughs> Obviously, no shit. I just wanted to see that. That's common sense. Well, unless you're talking to a very specific type of girl, then it might work. You'd be surprised. Let's see, pretend to be blind. Oh my gosh. Approach slightly in front. Okay, that's too easy. You'll get curved doing that because you're leaving her space to walk away from you. So walking next to her is not a good idea because this day and age, she is going to mace you. <laughs> Approach directly in front. That doesn't sound good either, but um, pretend to be blind. I'm going to do one fail and do try to get the right answer from there. Let, let's let's see what this gives us. That's correct. So when you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can slow down and comfortably stop. Damn! Where you get the ladies from? Oh, now he's just showing off. He really think he God's gifts to women, don't he? This mother... You don't hold a candle to Johnny Bravo. Let's see. I just saw you and wanted to let you know you look very elegant. Hey, I don't I know you from my yoga classes? <laughs> nah, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> the possibility of her taking yoga with you is like astronomical. So, hey, do you have a minute? Mm, I think you're really beautiful. I'd love to go down on you right now. Then we both go to the same college? Too convenient. I wanna see this. So I just saw you and I'd really love to go down on you. What'd you say? You what? <laughs> He's had it so confused. Don't be sexual until you know 
that she would be open to it, which is never going to be in the first few seconds, especially in the daytime when she's probably just going to buy a coffee or on her lunch break. No shit. <laughs> I got to give him some credit. He said that so freely. I can't say, I can't even say that on the street. Again, I'm going to get mace. I'm an over six foot dude. It ain't working. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see. Um, no, nah. Hey, do you have a minute? This one adds a compliment, which makes sense. I mean, it's generic, but it's something. Hey, excuse me. Can I tell you something really quickly? Sure. I just saw you and wanted to let you know that you look really elegant. I love this skirt as well. It's really summery. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hold up. This is good because you've given her a nice compliment. It's direct. It's made her smile and it's made her feel like speaking to you. So it's, it's a nice, confident way to start in the street. So what's your plans for today? I'm actually going to the park uh, to feed the yeah. squirrels with my friend. What? Feed squirrels? Yeah. And ducks or squirrels? <laughs> no, just the squirrels. These we, little uh, guys, yeah? Yeah, we got them to be our friends. What do you of. feed them? Like hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> um, almonds? Almonds? Yeah. That's their favorite, is it? It seems to be. That's nice. Well, they're really cute, aren't they? They are very cute. You yeah, like animals? Yeah, my man, you're boring me. Yeah. That sounds fun, actually. I never thought of that. But buy some almonds, go feed the squirrels. You should try it sometime. Okay. And what are you doing today? Oh. Okay. Okay, let me just point this out right now. He was trying. I mean, I understand he was trying to let her talk. But that was the most boring way possible. She would have already found me boring. I'd have been like, oh, you going on to feed the squirrels? Want me to join you? I know a very specific squirrel right now. You ever heard of him? It's like, dang, what was his name? That's like a character. Oh, yeah. You ever heard of Rocky the Squirrel? Shoot, let's go feed Rocky real quick. Where Bullwinkle at? And, you know, add some jokes. Add personality. This guy sounded like a dry-ass freaking board with legs. <laughs> Ask her questions to get the, get her to do most of the talking. Uh, that's what men usually do. I'm not going to lie. You're just so beautiful. Wait, you mind if I kissed you right now? <laughs> what? <laughs> you do most of the talking. Yeah, that's not going to work. Or, do, or will it? No. You know what? I want to see what this entrails. You're just so beautiful, and I want to give you a kiss. Ah! Whoa! No! 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 Why no, 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 not? No. Yes! I'm not trying to fuck you in the arse or anything. Just a little kiss. Fuck you! Oh. <laughs> trying to get some coochie coo. This is the definition of creepy. The kind of stuff that's going to get you arrested, thrown out of places by security, and in all kinds of problems. So, don't do it. If you want to make a sexual advance on a girl, it's cool. You do it smoothly, and you do it at the right time. Of course, man. That'd be the sexual harassment right there. <laughs> This is why we have video games, so we don't have to worry about the consequences. <laughs> uh, you know what? Ask her questions to get her to do most of the talking. I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, admittingly, that's what men really do. But at the same time, it makes me think, like, if I let her do most of the talking, it ain't going to give me much to lean on for questions. Maybe, maybe if I do most of the talking, he'll ask questions. Yeah, I was just walking, there's a nice park down there, and then I'm going to meet some friends, but I've got like 40 minutes, and that's why when I saw you, and I thought you looked friendly, so that's why I came over and said hi. Okay. It worked. In the early stages of an interaction, you actually do want to make most of the conversation so that she has a chance to relax, get comfortable talking to you, uh, snap out of the mindset that she was in, thinking about what she's doing and where she's going. So that's the right one. Oh. We might hire some bikes and go riding around the park. There's like a nice spot where they rent out bikes and it's on the lake. And yeah, but you, so, you ride bikes in there? That's what, what I've been I mean thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we do, like the penny farthing and the, the suit on okay. and sitting really up, up straight. That's very no, fancy I'm, for bikes. I'll, I will change. I will okay. Change, yeah. uh, he was trying. I'd be like, of course. I'd be like, of course, I'll wear it. Do you want to wear it? I will, I will look good riding that bike. <laughs> I'd have said something like that along the lines. I don't know. It probably might work. Again, showing personality. <laughs> Use checking out her earrings as an excuse to touch her. Find an excuse to take off your shirt to show off your physique. Johnny Bravo. <laughs> what hairstyle she thinks would be good for you? Start touching yourself. What? 
Ask what she does for a living because she looks artistic. That this one kind of makes sense, but these are just too good to pass up. I like squirrels. Yeah. Yeah, and I like nuts. I like cashews. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! What? What? Oh fucking squirrel! <laughs> you like nuts? You said. <laughs> if you like touching yourself, great. But make sure you do it in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> He was like, come on, girl. He said, oh, I'm a jump jack man myself. And I'm loaded with some secret songs. <laughs> uh, what? Let's do the Johnny Bravo. Hey, you might be able to help me th with this, actually. I was thinking of getting a tattoo. Let yeah. me show you. Oh. So, like somewhere. <laughs> no, no. Somewhere like on <laughs> my body. On. No, come, Keep and, come and see. <laughs> Girls just aren't as sexual as guys, so getting your shirt off in the daytime, not cool unless you know that she's into it and she gives some hints that she likes you already. Bro, that would only work if you had the physique of freaking, I don't know, like, uh, like maybe Finn Balor. Like, he, he, can, he, can, he can make it work. You, see, you guys see how he floods that jacket? He can make it work. Wait, what are other ones? The excuse that... Nah, I think I messed around too much. I, this looks like the right answer. And tell me, what do you do? Because you, you look a bit artistic. <laughs> um, well, I actually work in non-profit. Non-profit? Charity, yeah. Ah, uh, I like making profit, so that's... What no, do I'm you joking, do? I'm joking. <laughs> I work in IT, but... Okay. Well, that's cool. Oh, so so you're not department. so focused on money. You like doing good things. Yeah. That's cool. Thanks. I'm focused on uh, money. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Because IT can be creative too, so... Sure, yeah. yeah. He's trying. Asking what someone does is that kind of usual question that we always ask, but in this case, you want to make a guess, make an assumption. It makes it a little bit more interesting. And if you choose something to do with fashion or art, it's always a compliment for a woman because it kind of says that she has style. Eh, most of the time. You went about it still on the bland side. Maybe I would have been like... Man, you look a little artistic. Have you ever been to Hollywood Arts in Victorious? <laughs> I bet she'll catch the reference very quickly. She's going to laugh. She'll be like, oh, I haven't seen that show in ages. But I neither have I. <laughs> Are you single? Eh, introduce yourself. Ask her name, then say it's your name, too. Whoa. Well, hey, you've got something on your foot there. Let me just get it. True gentleman. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> that is anime style. We would have gotten away with that in Japan. <laughs> I'll stop. I'll stop. Are you single? Is too blunt. Um, ask her her name and say it's your name too. Now nah, she'll think you're annoying. Introducing myself would be the best step forward. My name is Richard, by the way. Hey, nice to meet you. And your name? Alexa. <laughs> it's good that you have a name. I was just waiting for it a while, but it's good that you have one. Thanks. Rather than just asking her name, you can always introduce yourself. It's a little bit different to what most guys do, and it's a positive difference. What kind of things do you like to do in your free time? Mm, I actually don't have a lot of free time. I work, well, a, I work a lot, so when I'm not working, I like to be outside. Yeah. Um, yeah, I try to be outdoors as much as possible. I actually bike where you mentioned. Um, okay. Yeah, I just try to be outdoors. So you're one of these active people that's always doing stuff? <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to stay sitting down. Not couch potato? Well, every now and then, but in general, no, more active than okay. down. I'm kind of semi-active. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I do some active stuff, but actually I prefer it when, you know, someone else plans everything and they're like, come to this, and I always say yes. Okay. But given the choice, I often just chill at home. That's I like fair. chilling. Oh my gosh, look, people, do not take dating hints from this man. I'd rather have Hitch, if you guys ever see that movie, Will Smith, I'd rather him. At least he had personality. That guy would have taught me a few things. Talk about, I like to try home. When she said, I'm like an outdoorsy person, I'd been the first on scene, been like, hey, do you like playing laser tag? You like going to skate away? You like going to amusement parks? Hey, let's go on, I mean, I know of this great, fantastic roller coaster ride. I mean, if you're not afraid of heights, but hey, laser tag though, <laughs> just be honest. Make your life seem exciting. Damn, it's not that hard. 
have your number. Uh, listen, I need to meet some friends, but I'd like to see you again. What's your number? <laughs> I love how casual you look. I hate girls that always try to look their best. Oh, damn. Um, that's too much. Um, sell her on one of your hobbies. All right, this one's a little tough. Ah, uh, it looks like none of these will re resort to a funny. Yeah, none of these will look like they'll resort to a funny scenario. It looks like the goal here is to get her number. So, too blunt, sell her on one of your hobbies. Man, this guy's boring as is. It ain't gonna work. Love how casual they. So. Okay, listen. Like I said, I'm meeting those friends, but. Mm -hmm. Why don't you give me your number and we can um, keep in touch, maybe yeah, meet sometime. Sure. Yeah, give me sure. your number, Facebook, Instagram. There you go. Cool. That's fun. <laughs> Have fun. Ask for the you Instagram. Too, so you yeah. can't get a false number. It could be a fake number. Well done, you got a fake oh, number. Ah! Mm, not good enough. I fucking mm, I knew it. Why'd you give me a fake number? I thought you was feeling me. My damn. Alright, alright. Um fine. Fine, you want to be like that. Okay, fake mother. Let's see, sell her one of your hobbies. Can I have your number? I mean, ain't, ain't she going to give me a fake number again? Sell her on one of your hobbies. Have you ever tried climbing? You know, like on these walls? <laughs> I've heard of it. Um, I've always wanted to, but I haven't yet. You know, it's very cool. We've got some place that we go to. I've only been like four times. But it's really fun, very good exercise, and just really cool. So you should definitely try it. Yeah, I would like to. All right. When you're speaking to girls, it's good to be passionate about something. And a good choice is something you love to do, a hobby. Now, why don't you see if you can go out and sell someone on it, make it so that they're smiling like, yeah, I'd like to do that. That sounds great. So it's, it's the right option in this case. Oh. Okay, so you said you like biking and rock climbing. Mm -hmm, yeah. um, any other like outdoor activities? So we got similar oh, stuff. stuff. Yeah. Um, racket sports. Like tennis? Um, yeah, tennis and also squash. You know what squash is? <laughs> it's the English thing. I don't know. I about mean, most it, sports no. were invented in England. Are you stereotyping I think me? They play it everywhere. It's um, it's like when you're you're usually inside and you've got a wall like in front to the sides and in the back, and you okay. can hit the ball like anywhere and it, I think it's the best exercise you're constantly running and yeah, yeah. it sounds it's very cool kind of dangerous but fun oh, no no it's fine it's fine <laughs> the ball is only um, like that big so even if it hits you it's not too bad okay you and can smash each other with, with the rackets but <laughs> rarely happens hmm. you and should try it I might sometime uh, you said you work in IT yeah I work in IT I said that earlier <laughs> oh man he was trying so hard to keep that conversation going Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right, buddy? Let's see. Say you're an ass model, then try to touch hers? Okay. You, you grab my attention. Yeah, I work in IT, but I'm also an ass model. Yeah. Check oh, it out. Oh, come on. Look at that. What do you think? Ass man. It's nice. Good, yeah. Yeah. Have a touch. <laughs> no. Put your hand on no. it. It's fine. Don't be shy. Come on. I'd rather not. You can, really. It's okay. No. Look, I can touch you. No. you oh my God. No, you can't. Ooh. No, you can't. But I could get your job. <laughs> <laughs> I can get you a job. This was going okay until you tried to touch her. You know, a girl is not ready at that time for that kind of sexuality. And you can't really get anywhere by rushing that fast. Well, of course not. That, again, a sexual harassment waiting to happen. Shoot, she would have called the police on my monkey ass. <laughs> Programmer. And that's really boring and you don't like it much. Oh. Oh, no, it's... Yeah. That's not good. I'm downing her. Said it, you're a model scout. What? Programmer and be passionate about it, which makes sense. Programmer, but especially talk about life philosophy. Man, sh what is this, the Matrix? Philosophy? Yeah, I work in IT, and actually I love my job. I think that, uh, you know, people think IT is boring, but at the moment it's like the most exciting field. Right? And it to pays. In. There's so many cool companies. I really love my job. So happy to, <laughs> to go to work every day and... Um, yeah, it's fascinating for me. That's great. Right. If you have a job and you think it's boring, that's not important. Um, the thing that you need to do is show that you have passion for something. If, it's, if you do like your job, even if you think other people are not interested, speak passionately about it 
and you can get them to buy in, feel at least the emotion, even if they don't understand it that well. So, you know, don't worry about it being boring. Worry about how you tell others about it and hope that your emotion will be contagious. So do you always stop girls in the street? Oh, okay. Oh, she's trying to find out if I got more than one. <laughs> but what that guy, what he said before, I'll give him points for that. He makes sense. If you do try to make your job sound like the most boring thing in the world, then it downs the conversation, kind of kills it a little. Unless you can make it a joke like, hey, my job's boring and shit, but hey, it pays. That's what matters. Just tell it straight. Be real. But right, be passionate about your job most of the time. Unless you're in a really shitty job, then I can't help you there. Um, actually, quite often, no, of course not, never. Only if they look like they are dying to be f Whoa! Not too often, but when I like the look of someone and I'm single, why not? <laughs> the cockiness. I gotta do this one. Well, you know what? There's a special quality I look for, and I would only stop girls if they have that exact thing. So okay. it's quite uh -oh. you know, something special going on. Oh, no. Do you want to know what it is? Oh, no. Yeah, I do. Well, it's just when the girl just looks like she's dying to be fucked. <gasps> and basically... Excuse me? Yeah, like she's just ready to bang right no, there and then. No, that's vulgar. That's really vulgar. <laughs> vulgar? <laughs> no. Yeah. Come to Hulk! <laughs> that's totally cool in the game, but in real life, I must tell you that you shouldn't even swear at girls, never mind getting sexual. As a man, you have a responsibility to treat women with respect and always make sure that they feel better after the interaction with you than they did before. No matter how rude they are, they've got a right to be rude. And if they're not rude, then even more reason to be polite and make them feel good. All right, that, that kind of makes sense. I'll give you points for that as well. <laughs> but he, he knew the way he said that first line. That's all right in the video game. He knew that people would choose it just because it's a game. Because we know damn well, unless that girl is really drunk or something, or she's really that type of female, we will never go along with that kind of sentence. So let's see. When I look... Hold on, I gotta hear the cockiness. No, not often at all, but I think when I'm single, when mm -hmm. I like the look of someone, I figure why not start a conversation because you never know what will happen. Yeah. Could become friends, could date, or just have a nice interaction. Why not, right? Definitely. This is the right choice oh. because actually it's honest and it's disarmingly honest. So it's going to take her back a little bit, but it's going to also show that you're telling tr the truth, that she can trust you, and show that you're confident enough to, to say that instead of making up some rubbish. So it's the right choice. Well done. Oh, shit. I thought it was a joke. <laughs> I thought it was. Okay. All right. I see you. Give her your number. That ain't going to work. She'll ne she ain't going to call me back. The hell? Listen, I have a few minutes. Why don't we grab a coffee? Listen, I need to meet some friends, but I'd like to see you again. What? I tried this before. She gave me a fake number. Mother. You know, I live near here and have the apartment all to myself. Listen, I, I live literally on the next street, just over there, so um, I think no one's home now. We could just pop over yeah. there and... <laughs> you ever seen Three's Company? Um, got some drinks. No, no, I'm, I'm meeting my friends and it's a little you early to drink. You can bring them as well. Nah! No, I mean, well, yeah, no, but not we're not interested. Well, they can come, they can watch. What? What? <laughs> they can watch! Now, although girls will come back to your house in the daytime, if you do things exactly correct, perfectly, it's not something you should try until you're very good with women to the point where you can read all the signals so well that you know when they're going to say yes uh, to something like that. Otherwise, it just shouldn't be attempted. Otherwise, you'll just get the reputation of being a maniac. <laughs> I did not expect them to actually say they can watch or they can join in. <laughs> This guy was trying to have a little coochie coo time times three. <laughs> All right, this one makes better sense. You want to go grab a cup of coffee? Listen, I've got a few minutes right now, so do you want to just grab a coffee? What do you say? Yeah, okay. Great. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's uh oh. Go. Yeah, let's go. First coffee, then bedroom, then coochie coo. 
the very best result in the daytime is to go for the instant date. So that's correct. Well done. Uh, if you just leave and get the number, you know, that's okay. But it's much better if you can say, listen, I've got time now. Why don't we do something quickly? And notice that it's just a quick thing. So it's quite easy to say yes to. Okay. I think I finished that first part. I, <laughs> oh my gosh, this game. Okay. So this is supposed to be a dating simulator. Did this is what it is. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, this game is funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. but do not take dating advice from this man. I'm sorry, it will not. I repeat, it will not work for everybody. Because that first part where he said that it's good for you to approach a girl in front so you can get to talk to her, no. That, because the problem with today's world is that most women also look at ethnicity and she's sad to say is more likely to believe in stereotypes. I hate to say it, but it's true. Maybe a Caucasian could pull it off. Maybe an African-American, more or less depending on the area. Maybe like a Chinese guy, I rib. I'm not trying to be racist, I'm spitting facts. It just depends of how you dress and how you present yourself that you can pull that off. Because most of the time, you are going to scare the shit out of her. Too many girls are getting killed, kidnapped, worse. So you can't most of the time do that. Most You just got to present yourself in the most gentleman-like way possible. My book, unless you're in a specific area where most girls just don't give a damn. That just depends where you are. Mm. But I think I'm going to end the gameplay right here. I hope you guys enjoyed super seducer <laughs> oh my gosh i hope you guys enjoyed super seducer for the place up uh, over did it again for the pc if you guys surprisingly would want me to continue this hit that like button if you guys want to definitely see more i don't mind doing more just because this game is actually unexpectedly funny and it's something new right i'm gonna try to do some more requests because i haven't done requests in a while because well, you guys know my dilemma since COVID took away my job, I'm trying to really keep my money together. But this game was $5, so I said, why not? It ain't gonna break bank. I'm gonna try to get another one done sooner sooner than later. But that said, just hit that like button. Uh, we do nothing but gaming entertainment here, so if you guys are subscribed, please subscribe. What are you waiting for? And of course, uh, check out my links in the description. I have an Instagram, a Twitter, and a parody channel where I do nothing but voiceovers. You can check that out as well. So let's see. There'll be pro there'll be definitely more gameplays for you guys this week to come. That's about it from me. It's Anime Gamer 11 signing out.